Hi, Lisa. Hi, Donna. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. You, this is your third week in the recovery college here yeah. at the Adelphi, yeah. Could you tell me a wee bit about it? The well, the first week was um, all about learning about the media, about what the media thinks about people in addiction, the stereotypical role that they see that they see in our communities. And it's about us changing that perception in the community. And there's a lot of hard work to be done there, but people in recovery can do it. And it's, everything that I'm learning is all positive towards getting a group for ourselves out where I come from and I'm loving it and there's so much to learn for people and there's so much energy and it's so enjoyable. <clears throat> what about yourself Mark? I've really enjoyed it, there's a lot, a lot of great people involved in, as Lisa said, there's a lot of positive energy. <clears throat> a lot of people really do want to make a change. Where do you come from? I'm from Barhead. And Mark? I've just moved to Barhead for my son. Just outside Glasgow? Yeah. Uh, how did you find out about the Recovery College? I found out about in Wired In first and foremost and then I had a wee look through that into the Scottish Drugs Recovery Consortium website and there was more on that and obviously yourself, Amy and Ian came out to visit us and gave us out the leaflets and stuff but there was plenty on the website to inform you how to go about applying for it and at the recovery rally as well there was tables and leaflets and everything there, so it was quite easy to access the materials for it. Well, we posted everywhere. <coughs> what was your expectations of the recovery college before you came? I think... I didn't, uh -huh, aye, I didn't really know what to expect and what I was coming into, but um, everything that is here and uh, the people you meet, they're all very much geared towards recovery and giving you that as much possible help and information that you can get out of it and it's all good. To take it back to your own community and develop it from there. What have you got in your own community? We have got actually nothing really. We've There's got one, a, one programme. EA meeting once a week, mm -hmm. that's it. But for recovering heroin addicts, which I am, there's nothing. There's not an any nothing. There's uh, a cat team. As there's well. a cat team, <laughs> and we've done a program through the cat team, um, working on uh, everything, all aspects of addiction. But after that, there's nothing. There's no recovery. There's no smart. There's no. There's really nothing to move on to for people to see recovery actually happening in Barhead. There's nothing there for them. Apart from us. <coughs> yeah. Do you feel what you're learning at the Recovery College will help you build something in your own community? Well, that's what we're hoping to do. We were actually trying to achieve that before we came to Recovery College, so it's all tied in very, very nicely. Yes, So, uh, especially what we're doing today in the ABCD, yeah. the uh, Based Community Development. It's going to fill us with all the knowledge that we need to go forward and actually get this group of ours up and running. And to help the community. Yep. Above it. Thank you both very much, Lisa and Mark. No Thank you. <coughs>